Good day, subscribers. Today is the fourth episode of Semester 1, Specializations. If you would like to see the previous episode before watching this one, click the banner in the upper right-hand corner. As always, I want to thank all of my subscribers. We've made a big jump since the last video and are now above 50 subscribers, so thank you all. In the last video, we talked about some of the platforms Georgia Tech uses for their online master's programs. Specifically, we looked at Piazza, Peer Feedback, Canvas, GitHub, Udacity, and the Google platform. Now that I'm a few weeks into the program, I received this email, which gave instructions on how to select a specialization, shown here. Another important point from this email is right here, that says that even though the selector will show 11 different specialization options for OMS CS students, we are restricted to four. The other specializations are for on-campus students only. So, before we jump into each specialization, Let's take a minute and look at exactly what Georgia Tech means by specialization. A specialization is a focused area within the Masters of Computer Science program. Each student is required to complete one within the program, which takes between five and six courses, depending on the specialization. Since the program requires a total of 10 courses, the remaining four to five courses outside of the chosen specialization are considered free electives and can be almost anything offered within the program. Here, we see the four specializations offered for OMS CS students, Computational Perception and Robotics, Computing Systems, Interactive Intelligence, and Machine Learning. On the right, we see a snippet of the actual specialization selection dropdown found on Buzzport. And we can point out that the OMS CS specializations are offered. The only one missing is Machine Learning, and that is because I've already selected it as my chosen specialization. As you can see, there are a lot of additional specialization offered to on-campus students, such as computer graphics and social computing. If these specializations are something that really interests you, always remember that you can take courses related to these specializations as your free electives. Now, let's take a look at each of the OMS CS specializations. For me, the best way to differentiate between them is to look at the course options to complete for each specialization. First, we have Computational Perception and Robotics. Here, we have the specialization page for Computational Perception and Robotics. As we can see, first, you have to pick one course from this algorithm section and one from either Artificial Intelligence or Machine Learning. Additionally, you have to have three courses in either Perception or Robotics. Next, we have Computing Systems. Here, we have the specialization page for Computing Systems. As you guys can see, you have to take three courses, which is made up of CS6505 and two courses from any of these lists. Additionally, you need three courses from this larger list. Now, Let's take a look at Interactive Intelligence. Here, we have the specialization page for Interactive Intelligence. As you guys can see, for Interactive Intelligence, you need one course taken from Algorithm and Design, and two courses taken from this list below. Additionally, you need two courses taken from either Interaction or Cognition. And lastly, my chosen specialization, machine learning. And this is the specialization page for machine learning. For machine learning, you need one course from the algorithms section and one course from this list below, which is machine learning and computational data analysis. Additionally, you need three courses from this below section. So, that was a lot of information, and it may be hard to differentiate between some of the requirements. When I was looking at the different specializations, I made a sheet which helped me compare the requirements for each choice. 
So let's take a quick look at that and maybe get a little bit better of a comparison. Here we have my comparison chart comparing the four specialization options. The way I broke it up was as CSE, CS, special topics, and then ISYE classes. So if we look at computational perception and robotics, computing systems, interactive intelligence, and machine learning, we see that machine learning is a lot heavier than the other ones in CSE classes. And it gives you a bit of an idea of what those classes are. Now if we look at the CS courses, we can see that computing systems has a large amount of CS courses. Just a note on this page, as you look horizontally, we have the same course. So for example, all of the specializations offer CS 6505, but only computing system, uh, computational perception and robotics offer computational photography as a specialization course. Again, remember, you can always take computational photography, just like I am, as a free elective. As we go down, we can see for special topics, each one kind of offers its own little set. And then again, for ISYE, it's basically only offered for machine learning. So that's kind of a comparison of the courses offered for each of the specializations. If you guys have any more questions on this, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try to answer it as best I can. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed the video and were able to learn something. If you have any questions or video requests, let me know in the comments. Thanks and subscribe.